Okay, continuing on the EKG course, level one G-rated stuff. We have covered now the fundamentals and rate units, and now we're heading to regularity. Regularity, the other R word in, um, in our analysis plan. So the regularity unit's got three simple lessons, one about skipped beats, one about early beats, and then everybody's favorite, atrial fib, um, the king of the irregular, ir irregular rhythms, in fact, the irregularly irregular rhythms. So we start saying <clears throat> tongue twister, things like that. <clears throat> Sorry. Skipped beats. Um, some of this is, uh, particularly the sinus pause, sinus exit stuff, is, um, you know, good to know, but not absolutely got to know. Somebody's going to die if you don't know the difference between a sinus pause or a sinus exit. Second degree AV block has skipped beats or dropped beats. There are P waves that do not conduct. And then the one that we tend to forget about, the simplest and one of the most common, is an extra beat that comes in and just doesn't create a QRS. So let's talk about all this. Sinus pause, sinus arrest, sinus exit block. I think if you stopped an ambulance on the street in our system and you pulled the two medics out and you said that you'd buy them lunch if they could tell you the difference between sinus arrest and sinus exit block, I think a lot of medics would be going hungry because, you know, we know that there is a pause in there. We know that there was no P wave before that pause. So it's not really a dropped beat. It's just no P wave happened. But for you to be able to determine and, you know, differentiate and remember the nuance here between sinus arrest, sinus pause, sinus exit block, SA block, no one, um, Mrs. Smith doesn't really care that you know this. She does care that you recognize that she's missed some beats. And it is good for you to know, very helpful for you to realize that there was no P wave before that big pause. Whereas in the others, the other two versions, the second degree AV block and the non-conductive PAC, you will see there is a P wave before the opening. Second degree AV block, take a look at this. You see more P's than you see QRS's. We ought to have one-to-one. -one. There ought to be a P that causes a QRS. Remember, the P wave is the atrial depolarization that then stretches the ventricles, and the QRS is when the ventricles depolarize and contract. So you'd like that to be a one-to-one -one ratio. What's going on here in the second degree AV block world is that you've got some P wave, some atrial contraction, but the P wave does not make it through the AV node. <clears throat> it's supposed to pause in there. It's just not supposed to die in there. And so the, a, the P wave goes into the AV node, it never comes back out on the other side, and what we have is a P wave shown on the EKG, but did not create a QRS. So you have dropped beats. Dropped beats is the slang phrase, the jargon for a P wave that does not conduct. Now, if all those P waves are the same, they all have the same shape, have the same morphology, which is a cool word for shape. So if the P waves all have the same shape, which means they all came out of the same place in the atria, in this case, the SA node, then we don't have any extra early beats. We just have P waves that were eaten by the AV node. And so you have this second degree AV block. Now we'll talk about type one, type two, two to one, high grade block. There's all kinds of flavors of second degree AV block. But the concept we're trying to get to you here is that there are dropped beats out there in the world. And there's really three types of dropped beats. The one here, where there really is just a complete pause. There's no P wave that gets dropped. There's just a missing space in there where one or more beats should have happened. In this case, the P wave gets dropped. It gets eaten by the AV node. And so that's a second degree AV block. And then here's the third one. Here's where there is an early extra beat, a PAC, a premature atrial complex. And so this is not the SA node. It's another place up in the atria that fired, but it fired early. And that P wave came down through to the AV node, and the AV node was not ready for any new traffic. And so it just blocked it. It bounced it. It ate it. It killed it, and the, the PAC complex did not get through. What's different about a PAC? Well, it's a different shape. It's a different morphology. You can see it's fairly subtle in that top strip, but you can see that that P wave's not like the, it's not shaped like the others. It's more 
and it looks a little taller. Uh, the ones before seem to be biphasic. There's a piece of it above the baseline and a piece below the baseline. It's called biphasic. And so the P waves that we were seeing um, aren't like these ones that are getting blocked as it shows. They came in early, the AV node wasn't ready for it. AV node said, mm, not dealing with this, and it shut them down. So <clears throat> when you look back to dropped beats, skipped beats, there are cases where we have an irregular rhythm in that there's a pause, but there was no P wave. That's a sinus block, sinus pause, whatever you want to call it. Then there are times when we have a P wave that comes on time. It's not early. It's normal. It's just like the others, but it just simply does not conduct. That's second degree AV block of the various types, which we'll dig into later. And then here's one that is early and doesn't look like the others. That's a non-conducted PAC. So skipped beats, three kinds. That's how you tell the difference. Is there a P wave? If so, is it like the others? And was it early? And that pretty much is uh, the takeaway from this one.